Our final wine for limited edition 2012 is the Portuguese Aragones Cabernet Sauvignon. Aragones is a unique grape. It's grown under different names in different places. Many people will be familiar with it in Spain as the Tempranillo grape, which goes into the Rioja Reds. It's also grown in Portugal under the name Tinta Roriz in the Douro Valley, where it forms part of the blend of red port wine. This Aragones is coming from a slightly different region, the Vinho in northern Portugal. The grape itself is kind of unique. It's got very, very thick skin, and it's dark to the point of being nearly black. It has a very high level of extract. And when winemakers are talking about extract, what they mean is all the flavorings and stuff that gives a wine body and heft and weight. It does have fairly low acidity. That's why it's often best as a blending wine with another variety. The principal fruit characteristics are mulberry, dark cherry, black cherry, and kind of a jamminess. The blender in this case is Cabernet Sauvignon. Everybody who drinks red wine probably has heard of Cabernet Sauvignon. It's planted wherever red wine grapes will grow. It's the king of the red grapes. Part of the reason for Cabernet Sauvignon's popularity is actually the size of the grapes. The berries themselves are small, which means you have more tannin and more seed material by comparison to the volume of the pulp of the grape. That means more tannin, more color, and more intensity of flavor from a given grape. The principal flavor characteristics of Cabernet Sauvignon are black currant, blackberry, and kind of a note of cedar. Some people describe it as pencil shavings because of course pencils are made out of cedar. This is not from the oak. It is actually a characteristic of the Cabernet Sauvignon grape itself, but it usually only comes out after some significant aging. If we look at this map of Portugal, way up in the upper left-hand corner on the northwest of the country is the Vino region where our grapes are coming from. The soils of this region are perfect for growing both Cabernet Sauvignon and Aragones. They're calcareous marl which means they've got a lot of calcium in them, but they're not terribly fertile. They're also kind of loamy, so they drain very well. That's crucial on a couple of levels. Grapes don't like wet feet. If their roots don't get a chance to drain completely, they won't thrive. And if the soil is too rich and too fertile, they'll produce a lot of leaves, but they won't concentrate on producing dense, ripe, flavorful grapes. This area has the right combination of sunshine, drainage, slope, and heat to make perfectly ripe grapes every year. The final wine is both bright and lush. Usually those are opposing terms in winemaking, but the soft fullness of the Aragones grape is counterpointed by the intense tannins and crisper fruit of the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got black currant, raspberry, black cherry, cedar, and a hint of violets that'll come out in the finish as it has a chance to age. The tannins are gripping. If you drink it young, anything under six months, you're mainly going to experience some pretty gripping tannins, along with a bit of a cherry, black cherry note, and maybe just a wee hint of blackberry. You'll also notice that the oak is fairly assertive at that young age. However, after about 12 to 18 months in the bottle, it's going to start expressing more of the perfume, those violets. You'll also see the appearance of that cedar note I spoke of earlier. The fruit will come through, you'll get some black cherry jam, and you'll get that wonderful black currant cassis character coming right up. It's going to be best after two to five years, and it'll hold well in a good cellar. It's a great food wine. Between the tannins and the fruitiness, it's gonna go great with duck, lamb, barbecue, grilled meats, or just sipping on its own as an example of a very powerful and full flavored wine. But we've got a special pairing for you this year. Our food pairing for the Portuguese Aragones Cabernet Sauvignon is a foraged wild mushroom risotto. Wild mushrooms are served on a bed of rich, creamy risotto dashed with extra virgin olive oil and shaved Parmesan Reggiano cheese. The Aragones Cabernet Sauvignon works so well with this 
because the richness of the risotto is offset by the stern tannins of the Cabernet, while the rich fruity tones of the Aragonés helps work with the mushroom's deep earthy flavors. Great wines, delicious food, and rich flavors. Those come together to make limited edition 2012 one of our best years ever. Thanks for watching and enjoy your wines.